Monica, congratulations. Thank you. Um, just your thoughts on the match itself. Where do you think it kind of turned in that first set? And, and what did you need to do to kind of get things back on, on track? Um, I needed to, for sure, you know, stick to the tactics because uh, in the first set I started, you know, making too many mistakes. I started playing too fast. So, um, yeah, I, I just needed to really get back to basics and what I wanted to play today. And um, it took me some, you know, while <laughs> longer than usual, but I'm glad that um, it happened after the set anyway. Hi, congratulations for your for your win. Um, my question is not about the match. Is while you were playing, uh, we know the the draw for the Belgian King Cup in November. You were drawn against Spain again one year later. Uh, just your thoughts from last year um, matches and what do you expect from this this competition this year? For Thank which you. matches? The Belgian King Cup. In November. The draw in Poland, Spain on uh, on the first round. Oh. Um, I had no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm not prepared. Um, so the draw was today, and we're playing against Spain. Um, and what's the question? <laughs> also last year. Okay. Um, well, I don't have many thoughts because obviously this is happening in November and um, still a long way. You know, I hope I'm gonna be able to play. You know, for the first time because uh, it's been pretty annoying. You know, having um, being kind of forced with the calendar to pass the this tournament because I feel you know like I've been playing these qualifying matches, so I want to get the job done till the end. You know, um, but it just didn't make sense for previous years. It would ruin. You know for sure the beginning of the season if and scheduling so um so i want to play and then i'm gonna if it's gonna be possible for me to play i'm gonna start thinking about it <laughs> sorry hi hey Iga. well done Thanks. how have your processes changed uh for dealing with like rough patches during matches uh, compared with where they were two or three years ago, what are the things you do differently now that you didn't used to do in order to get through something like that and turn things around? Well, I wouldn't say mm, there's no pattern, so that's why it's hard to answer that question. Um, I wouldn't say I did the best job today so <laughs> to do that because it took me really a while, but um, so, uh, so I did something probably that wasn't right, you know, <laughs> but um, but honestly, I don't remember how it was two years ago. Um, I tend to kind of just look, you know, for the future. I don't really remember some, even, you know, some injuries that I had two years ago or something. So I'm not good at like analyzing that in a bigger horizon. Um, but, but well, for sure I have, I don't know. It's a different situation. Two years ago, I've been an underdog, and it was kind of normal for me that I'm gonna, you know, struggle in most of my matches because I don't know. I was in top ten, but I wasn't really, you know, at, um, I wasn't sure if I have the best tennis out there, you know. Now it's a little bit different because I start from the point where everybody ex expects me to, you know, <laughs> have easy matches, kind of. So this changes a little bit, but on court, you know, we don't have time to think about, you know, expectations of others. So I'm trying to deal with my expectations and um, choose the right solution for the right moment. Hi, Ego. Congrats. Thank uh, you. You get to play Ons or Maddie next. Uh, if you don't mind talking about them separately and the challenge they to you here in these conditions? Um, well, mm, well, it's going to be a tough match. It's the semifinal, so any player that is going to be there deserves to be there. I don't know about the conditions. We'll see what the weather. I think it's getting colder tomorrow, or, or uh, so. Um, we'll also see how the schedule will look like. But um, you know, <laughs> I, I mean. Um, they they play different games, so I will need to prepare tactically. It's not like I'm gonna go and play the same way, you know, against both of them. So so we'll see who's gonna win, and then I'm gonna prepare. But against Ons is always a battle, and Maddie can really have you know great tournaments. So we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, when you said you started too fast and needed to get back to the, the game plan, does that mean that you were trying new things in this match and or it was just an off day and you just need to get back to, to basics? No, it was more like um, 
I I just made you know mistakes. I do, I you know I made some decisions that weren't right for the moment. And um, back to basics. I mean, like back to like really solid game. So I would avoid these mistakes. Any progress on the Taylor Swift ticket? Oh, Taylor Swift? Yeah. Um, ask Jules. He's IMG agent, so he should get it, <laughs> I guess. No, but it's harder the, with the schedule. I think there's one show that I that is going to be perfect, but um, I think the tickets are already sold out. So not yet? So I can just buy them? Well, then what's the problem? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll get to it. Honestly, I, I didn't check before, so thanks for the reminder. Sorry? Which, show? Wh which one was that? Yeah. Mm. So, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell. Yeah, no. thanks. Last part, sorry, because he was busy raising hands. Thank you. Congratulations, Iga, for the victory. Thank I would like to ask you, do you feel that this tournament on clay feels different from you because of the altitude compared to Roland Garros or Rome? Yes, for sure, it's different. Um, uh, you just have to play differently and adjust at the beginning. But then, for sure, after a couple of matches, you can feel more free and natural because your brain, you know, gets it better. Uh, but yeah, it's it's more tricky for sure. Sorry, one thing. Um, have you ever played a match that you wished you had a souvenir from? Because like yesterday, Pedro Kachin took Rafa uh, Rafa's shirt <laughs> as a souvenir, and I'm wondering, have you ever had that feeling where, oh, I wish I had something from that match? Um, hmm. not really, but if I would play against Rafa, for sure, <laughs> I would ask for a t-shirt, <laughs> but that's not possible. Thank you. Thank you.